Welcome Biology 230 students at Tuskegee University. This is Dr. Griffin again with video two for module three covering chapter five. Again, this is the second video covering topics in chapter five. If you remember the first video introduced you to the idea of macromolecules. Well, the first macromolecule that we will discuss in this second video is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are simply Sugars. They're what you think of as when you think about sugar. Sugar in your honey bun, sugar that is present in your rice, etc. The most simple sugar is, are monosaccharides. The most simple sugars are monosaccharides. In fact, monosaccharides means simple sugars. The chemical formula for any monosaccharide must reach this definition here, which is C x h 2 x and o x this means that a monosaccharide must have the same atoms of carbon and oxygen and will have twice as many hydrogen atoms as carbon and oxygen the most common example and the most common monosaccharide is glucose this is the main sugar that your body uses to produce energy the chemical formula for glucose is C6H12O6. So it has six atoms of carbon, six atoms of oxygen, 12 atoms of hydrogen. And again, this is the base formula for any monosaccharide. Structural features of carbohydrates. What makes a carbohydrate a carbohydrate? Well, as the name may tell you, you're probably going to need some carbon and some hydrogen. And in fact, all carb carbohydrates must contain a carbonyl group. A carbonyl group, shown here in red, is a functional group that has this carbon double bonded to an oxygen atom. Again, a carbonyl is a carbon double bonded to an oxygen right here. So this C, two lines representing the double bond to the O. All carbohydrates must also contain multiple hydroxyl groups. Multiple meaning more than one, okay? So here in blue, as I've highlighted, are the hydroxyl groups. The O directly bonded to an H. OH is your hydroxyl group. So all carbohydrates must contain two structural features, the first being the carbonyl, the second being the hydroxyl group. Well, carbohydrates are subdivided in two different types of sugars, the first being an aldose sugar and the second being a ketose or a ketone sugar. Aldose or aldehyde sugars contain their carbonyl groups at the terminal end of this carbon chain. So you see we have three carbons here and the carbonyl group is at the end point. Now an aldose or an aldehyde sugar could have it at either end, either this first end here or this the last end here. And this is just one example of glyceraldehyde which is an aldose or an aldehyde sugar. The carbonyl again must be at the end for an aldose to be present. However, in a ketose or a ketone sugar, the carbonyl group is in the middle. And if you have lots of carbons present in your sugar, this could be any point, any carbon. But the carbonyl group must be in the middle and not at one of the terminal carbons. So you want to make sure you're able to really understand the difference between an aldose and a ketose and it's simply kind of referring to, do you know an aldehyde versus a ketone? Carbohydrates are needed for energy production in consumers. Consumers are those that don't produce their own energy, but they eat other foods to produce energy. We humans are consumers because we eat, whether you're a vegetarian, or whether you are a carnivore, or most of us are some type of herbivore, no, sorry, not herbivore, but omnivore. 
um, because we eat plants and animals, and we use those sources to produce or to obtain glucose to make energy for us. And so that's one important um, function of carbohydrates is energy production. Carbohydrates also provide structure such as the chitin um, as well as the um, cellulose that makes up the structure of plants. And so that's another important function of carbohydrates. Well, this ends video two where the focus was on carbohydrates for module three focusing on chapter five. Um, please don't forget to view and learn from the next set of videos and I look forward to seeing you both on campus and in class. This is Dr. Griffin at Tuskegee University.